don't know if we're going to make it. Let's go! <laughs> Guys, we have officially arrived in sunny Qatar. It's World Cup time! So we just touched down at the hotel, it's 7 a.m. so I have to keep a bit quiet but I am so excited, that World Cup energy has hit me already. But let's go find out where we're going to be living for the next two weeks. Well, I finally found my room, it's time for the big reveal, okay? Okay, there we go, let's do it. Ooh, I can't complain, this room's big. I cannot complain, thank you very much Qatar. <laughs> Can't wait for this next two weeks. It's World Cup time. Let me give you guys a proper room tour. So firstly, you've got to put your key in there. Wait, hold on, give me a second. There we go. You see how the room just lit up? But yeah, so we've got button control for the light. Let's turn on the light in the bedroom. Oh, you can turn it up. Okay. Okay, yeah, none of these lights are actually working. Oh, there we go. Um, yeah, <laughs> that is sick. Then we got the bathroom, nice little mirror, little light, and I was gonna oh. say, but then we got the bath, ooh, and the shower. Look, look at the angles I'm giving you lot. But then we go into the room, then we go into the main bit. Then you got the big boy bed. Now this is a king size, for a king, you know what I'm saying? And then we got a little kitchen with the sink and the microwave and the, I think that's an oven. And then you got the nice little TV. So if I'm here lying in bed, Feet up, slap on a bit of World Cup. Actually, I'm gonna be at the game, so I don't even need to watch on TV. You know what I'm, saying? I'm not even trying to come on an emotional one, but I'm so grateful for all the support I've got in the last year and a half. Without that, I wouldn't be here right now, and that's just the facts, not to sound cliche. But I am so excited to be back at the World Cup. So in 2010, I went to my first World Cup in South Africa, and it was the most amazing experience of my whole life. Ever since that moment, I've dreamed of going back to a World Cup, but I was unable to go. I'd even given up hope, but that was until after 12 long years of waiting, I am finally back at the World Cup. And this time I have a new mission to go to the World Cup final. 14 days to achieve our goal and I'll be vlogging every single moment for you guys. We will be going to all the knockout round matches and each day I'll have to try and complete challenges set by you guys in my YouTube comments and via my Instagram story. Stay tuned to find out which match we're going to first. We only have 14 days to complete this challenge. So the road to the World Cup final starts now. It's the World Cup. So we have arrived at the FIFA World Cup and we have three challenges today. One, to go to two matches in one day. Two, to find a fellow creator. I don't know who we're going to find out here, but let's get into the stadium and start the challenge number one. We've arrived, let's get into the stadium. I'm inside the stadium now. And we have found our first creator. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! The match has just kicked off. Lizzie, how are you feeling? I'm feeling good. I'm feeling it's goosebumps. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Come on! Russian fans are fired up, let's go! This is free kick could go in. Morocco have the best fans in this whole World Cup. What a shame, This game 
win. Don't know who's gonna win. Like right now, Morocco are attacking, but Spain are defending quite well. The Moroccans have all the support. Though. Like you can hear it. Like, But it does feel like a full house, like the atmosphere is crazy. 80% is Moroccan fans, I'm telling you. is about to start intense game very tight game no no of course i still think morocco are gonna steal it spain got a lot of quality but i still think morocco are gonna steal it what do you think morocco is yeah, nah, i think i just hope they, they just i don't even know what it's saying i literally hope they just defend and then go to penalties and then win penalties. That, that's the thing we need to do penalties. otherwise they'll they'll score like spain is gonna score somehow yeah, they got a lot of quality but listen we're gonna see what's gonna happen diva Madrid. Yes, sir. <laughs> That's the chance. Spain have so much quality, like they can turn it on like that. Uzi is stressed right now. Uzi is stressed. Oh no, no! Oh, what a goal! <laughs> if I was Moroccan, I'd be the exact same right now. That's the best shot of the whole game. That was the one. Fifteen minutes to book their place in the quarterfinal. Which team is it gonna be? Um, oh wait, Morocco going for the. I mean, I rate the, I rate the bravery. You gotta do, what you gotta do. Second penalty, they have to score. 
they have to score this. Keeper can come up really clutch here. This penalty kick is massive. 2-0, they need to score. Spanish legend, can he score? to the World Cup quarter final right now. All he has to do is score. He has to score. He has to score. That's it. One yeah, goal. Hakimi. 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 One goal. That is half of challenge one done. Now it's time to go to match number two. We're gonna see the goal. Because the Morocco match went to penalties, we are literally gonna be an hour late to the Portugal match. That's why we are sprinting. Guys, I don't know if we're gonna make it. I don't know if we're gonna make it. And if we don't make it, that means challenge number one's a fail already. So we got off the bus and literally, it's like, it's like, it's like a one hour run, but we're gonna try and make it 20, 30. But can't lie, it was worth it. That was the craziest game of the World Cup so far. Not and starting. And it was my first. It was the first. Listen, Ronaldo Ronaldo, on the Ronaldo's bench. on the bench, so I don't mind. But listen, as long as I see Ronaldo score, I'm good. You gotta do it. Next time you see us, we'll be at the stadium. We have arrived at the Portugal game. Let's go, man. Oh my gosh. We have arrived. The Luzern. Me and Usi have made it to the stadium. We have made it, we have Look made it. Look at the sweat it. on our face, yeah. We're like, literally, we literally ran for like 40 minutes. But <laughs> listen, we're here. I'm here for Ronaldo. He's not here yet, but he's gonna be here. Oh! Oh! Nah, guys, I can't get over this stadium. This stadium is unreal, like, like absolutely unreal. I'm waiting for Ronaldo to come on though, but. At least you can't believe we ran all the way here. <laughs> like, that's the World Cup, This baby. is the World Cup. That's the World this Cup. This is the World Cup. And that is the end of the first half. Me and Usi came really late, but, but, but. We managed to come as they scored. And it was actually just relaxed. It was nice watching good football. I just want to see Ronaldo in the second half. Hey! Ronaldo! The second half has kicked off. Still no Cristiano Ronaldo, but hopefully we can see him. Look at the goal right. This is my first time ever seeing him in real life as well. Ronaldo, Cristiano Ronaldo. Yeah! 
cannot explain how excited I am. Ronaldo is my favorite player in the whole world. Greatest player of all time. I've never seen him play before, live. And now I have the chance for the first time at his last World Cup. Cristiano Ronaldo scored, but the referee said it was offside. We're gonna insert a clip here because I actually nearly cried. I thought that was it. I thought I had. Ronaldo. I mean, I've seen him play. I've seen him score in real life now, but the goal didn't count. A few chances have gone by, and I still can't get over the fact that Ronaldo just scored, but they didn't allow it. In the in the clip I took, I, you can literally see the tears in my eyes. Like, wow. Just jumped on the pitch as well. Someone at the match said we look the same, but let me know in the comments if you think so. I think it's just the hair, that's it. I think Lil JR looks more like him. What? Rafael Leal has just scored the most disgusting goal. That is full time 6 1 Portugal. What a match! Finally got to see Ronaldo play live. I saw an amazing performance. What a day. I just landed in Doha, two games. Portugal are gonna win the World Cup. And that is a wrap for the vlog. Two challenges, two challenges complete. What an amazing day. Firstly, well, met up with my boy Usi. Spent the day what together. We also went to two games in one Day. I also saw Ronaldo play for the first time, so that is a tick, tick, and a tick. But guys, make sure you stay in tune every single day. I'm bringing you a new vlog. Today was amazing. It's the World Cup, and I'm finally here. Every single day there's a match, you're gonna see a new video. I might even go exploring in Qatar, so drop some challenges below of what you wanna see me do in Qatar whilst I'm here. I'm here all the way to the final, and hopefully, me and you guys are gonna go to the World Cup final. We've got 12 days left to complete this challenge. What a start. World Cup 2022, we have arrived.